We have been listening. I understand. I know that the floorboards, the open drive shafts, all of that has been one of the biggest concerns on the channel for quite a while. And I swear to you, I have not ignored that at all. It's just not come up at a good time. And you might be saying, well, isn't that super dangerous? Not really. It's not as dangerous as you think, especially since we've already broken both and we know what will happen. We've finally gotten everything else so solid on the car that we can focus on these other refinements. So we are putting on scatter shields basically for each of the U-joints. So the point where the thing can flex, that's where parts and shrapnel can fall off. So unfortunately, you'll never be able to see the axles and drive shafts spinning underneath my elbow anymore. And more importantly to me is the passenger will be much more protected from the real danger, which is that front axle right there. That one's out of steel. So that one's not gonna slip if it was to break. That thing's gonna get nasty. So we do have the loops to keep it contained. Shrapnel is my biggest concern. So those two areas are getting fixed. And then also, Isaiah was burnt to an extra well done crisp with the heat coming off of the whole side here. And especially with all the fans and even this fan more pushing air straight through, we're building more of the firewall. So it's in steps, it's in phases because we don't know. This is a very weird custom setup. And so we're just doing pieces as we understand them to be because very easily you could plate off some of these things and they'd be stuck in the car. Like the, you could get the transmission actually physically stuck in the car if you put a couple plates on there thinking that that's gonna make it safer. And now you can't take the car apart. So I got the templates for the drive shafts. This one's gonna go over the rear drive shaft right where Rob's elbow is so he'll be safe. It's gonna be out of steel so that way if anything, you know, try to fly through it. I mean, the only thing that can actually fly through would be the bolts and this would stop it fairly easy. And the same thing with the front drive shaft. And also on top of that, I drove in the car and it was hot. And I, I, I could withstand a lot of heat because I'm hot myself, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna make a heat shield to put right over over the header exhaust area so that way for whoever sits in there, you know, hopefully me again. <laughs> Another thing that's actually cool about having a plasma is you could maximize your area for metal and the least amount of metal wasted because if not I have to cut on the bandsaw it gets all weird and whatnot I don't even need that anymore so who cares I put my template on here my template on here my template on here and with the extra metal I'm just going to cut this off straight so that way I keep this piece for something else and I maximize all my metal pretty much So you guys appreciate how, how clean this is. I don't do a lot of sheet metal work, so when things kind of fit up really nice for me, I get excited. This fits in there real nice, has a little bend. Look how cute that is. Perfect. You have a problem? This is this is named Brad. The Max is out just like me. Six inches. Uh, mine's not fine tuned enough. Uh, okay, so we we've got an issue that we've always known will be kind of an issue. When you think about how this car is built, it was built from the front control arms to the rest of the car. That's literally how it was built. And as many of you know, especially the FSAE guys, these are Heim joints, and you're supposed to use them like these. You know, load against them like this not up and down like that. Now, that doesn't mean you can't use them like this, it's just not, it's like frowned upon. Well, the reason why 
is that over time they wear out much quicker. And so what we're gonna do is replace these really cheap ones that we had gotten to mock the car up with and replace them with some really high quality ones that are meant to hold more of the load, especially this lateral or side load. It's right. like self lubricating. Um, these are chromoly. These ones are like basic steel. So um, these are like 40 bucks a piece. This was like six bucks. This should, these are the high angle pieces. So that way you can go higher angle. Those pop in and, and out and you're good to go. So what we're gonna do, the reason Isaiah and I both had calipers is we're gonna measure something consistent maybe the end of this to, I don't know, some something. Yeah, I'm gonna do up and down, and just for this. Oh yeah, estimated, there's 1.7. I'm just looking from the top down. Hmm. After the deep. So my favorite thing to do when uh, getting new tires, getting the bounce and everything is uh, aluminum tape the wheel weights onto there. And I learned that from Lamborghini team because you're going so fast, it gets so hot. These are just kind of like double-sided tape, and so those fall off real fast, and we've had a lot fall off over here. I'm trying to find some black aluminum tape, but McFando hasn't had it, unfortunately. So, uh, we gotta stick with this bright guy. But, that easy. Yeah. This is actually my first time with the new safety net. That's much nicer. Oh, th yeah, that's... that's, that's yeah, that's so great. Safe. There's no immediate danger. We'll continue plating the whole car in, but for now, these are the very critical parts, especially with having a passenger or even my poor right elbow that everybody's afraid of. But yeah, this is, I mean, you're gonna be sitting like this anyway, because of that bar. 